right. I'm going to be replacing some medicine cabinets. Got four screws. Sometimes they're kind of damaged. Short work of it. It's a big difference. Now, what we need to do is slice through so we don't damage the wall. Just do a little pre slice. If you're measuring for these for new ones, you usually measure your wall opening. Common size is 16 by 22 or 16 by 26 or 16 by 20. Some of the most common sizes for this is a recessed medicine cabinet. You can also get them surface mount. What I've got is a frameless. If you're using an impact driver, you'll want to be careful not to overdrive your screws. If you use a drill, you can set yeah. the clutch. It doesn't swing open or anything, that's just what we want it to do. This bottom one off. Pull it over a little bit just to make it so it's nice and level. Good. 
On the next one, I'll show you some of the most common problems you run into when installing these and change them out. tricky pin and it may not be that important but it might turn it easy so that's good looks like I'll be able to turn it out a pair of vice grips can work good for something like this. Sometimes can work hard in it and break it off. Sometimes can leave it in. Not even notice it. it just depends. There we go. There we go. Okay. pop up on the sink. Don't need anything. Yeah, going down there, going down there. our old lines to line things up. for the 
Too short. for the stuff. Adjust it a little bit. Take this one, loosen it a little. Take this one, tighten it a little. That way we change the pivot. You got to be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is going to come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross, and He calls us to a loving relationship with Him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God. 
something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin is separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent, sent His Son, Jesus. You know, again, He took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave Himself so that we could be justified in Him. So, call out to Him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. Don't call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's gonna return for his people. And uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food. Um, and it's going to be a difficult situation, but uh, you, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because, again, He took all of our sin on Himself at the cross. So put your trust in Him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because He is the Lamb, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.